Hi, welcome to our lesson on reflections. Uh, we're going to start uh, reflecting our shapes now in our transformational geometry unit. And when we talk about reflections, it's just like looking into a mirror. So when we look into, when we take an object and reflect it in a line, it means that basically we've looked into a mirror and we're making a new object on the other side of that line. So I've got a triangle here and we're just going to go about that today and we're going to show an example and we'll give you some rules that will work for any reflection on any line. So I'm going to start by giving my corners a special point and so that's going to be my happy face corner. I'm going to have a superstar corner and I'm going to have a flower power corner. Now the other thing I'm going to do for these corners is I'm actually going to name them as well. So this is going to be point A, this is going to be point B, and this is going to be point C. Now for today's first example, I'm going to reflect this in the Y axis. And remember this vertical line right here is my Y axis. I'm just going to make that a red line just to make sure that we understand that that's where things are being reflected. Now the basic rule when we reflect things, and if you think about looking into a mirror, what happens is when you look into a mirror, you see the reflection that bounces straight off of the mirror. So if you want to think about a line that goes perpendicular to the reflection line, perpendicular means 90 degrees. So I'm going to make a line that goes 90 degrees from the reflection line to point A. I'm actually, for this purpose, I'm actually just going to make this line a little bit longer just to make it a little easier for you to see what I'm going to do here. So I've got this line, I'm just going to make it super long here. Now on this line, I've got 90 degrees here. You'll see that point A is one, two places away from my reflection line. Well, if it's if the original is two spaces away, then the reflection or the image point also needs to be two spaces away. So I'm going to make that one again. That's my smiley face. It's over here. And one of the rules that we have is when we make an image of a point, we call it not just A, because that would get confusing, but it becomes A prime. And we indicate that prime just by that little tick on the top of the letter. So I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to put my other points. So again, I'm going to take my line that would show me my reflections. I'll draw another one rather than use the same one. So I'm going to take, this time I'll do purple, and I'm going to look at that B line. So I'm going to draw a very long line that goes 90 degrees. And here you'll see that B is located, that's my superstar point, it is also one, two spaces away from this this reflection line, so I'll count to the other side of the reflection line, one, two spaces, put my point, and again that's going to be my B prime. You'll notice that I'm labeling my points as I do this, because otherwise it's too easy to get confused as to where the points are. And if I label them as I go, I'll end up with a shape that looks the same as the original. And that little tick didn't work out, so I'm going to make it a little bit better. You know my writing is problematic at the best of times. And I've only got one line left to do, and that line, or that point rather, is point C, and it lies on the same reflection line. So I'm just going to keep this one here, but what I need to do is I need to make sure my count is proper. So again, I'm one, two, three, four spaces away from the line of reflection, so I've got to go four spaces on the other side. One, two, three, four. And I have to label that one C prime. Now, I have my points, and in order to get my shape to look the same, I actually have to connect those points now, so I'm going to just choose my uh, my green pen here. Actually, I'll choose my red pen. And A connects to B. 
B connects to C, and C connects to A. These are some pretty bad lines right here. Let me just try to replace that one. And I'll go back to my pen. There we go. So if I take out my lines that help me draw that reflection now, you'll actually see what the image looks like compared to the original. Now, I can also reflect that in different ways. So I'm going to get I'm going to leave this image here, but I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to give a different line and I'm going to make a reflection line. This time I'll use this blue line. And I'm actually going to reflect using a line on an angle. So I'm going to just draw a line that goes from here up through this way. Now this looks a lot more complicated. If I were to use this blue line as my reflection line, it does look more complicated, but the principles are exactly the same. So I need to imagine, some of you may want to draw these lines, but some of you may be able to imagine this, these lines. If I took a line that went from A and was 90 degrees to this line of reflection, I'm just going to extend it a little bit here. So you see I've got, get my pen, I've got one space, two spaces, two and a half spaces from this line. So I've got, here's my half space, one, two. You could also think of it as cross points. So there's one, two, three cross points away from the reflection line, one, two, three cross plate spaces away from the reflection line. And that one is not going to be A prime now because I already have an A prime. So this one is going to be A double prime because it's the second one that I've moved on this line or on this uh, grid. So I'm going to put two tick marks here to indicate double prime. So now I'm going to look for my superstar point. And I'm just going to use the same line again. I'm going to take this line, move it down here to where B is. And I notice that I'm one, two points away from the reflection line. So I have to put my star at one, two points away from that reflection line. I'm going to call it B double prime. And I've only got one left to do, so I'm going to move my reflection line back to where the C was. And I'm only one space or one dot away from the reflection line, so I'll take my flower, I'll put it right here. And of course, let's not forget to put our labels there, so C, and that's a double prime. So C double prime, and now I need to connect the lines together. I'm going to use the line tool for this one, and I'll just go with a black line. And so, of course, A connects to B, B connects to C, and C connects to A. So in this case, you'll actually notice that the image looks quite a bit different than the original in the fact that it's actually been rotated, but you'll see that the C point was closest to the reflection line. The C double prime is closest to the reflection line. The A is furthest away, and the B is the same equidistance. So using the principle of a perpendicular line for reflection, you can reflect an image on any line that's given to you. A reminder that if you get a statement such as y equals negative 2, so if this was what you were told your line of reflection is, this means that you'd have a horizontal line that goes through y at negative 2. So let me just clear this clutter a little bit. So 
So for instance, I would have a reflection line, and this is my y is negative 2. So at a y value of negative 2, I would put a line the whole way across. And then this would be my reflection line. If I had a reflection line that said x equals 1, so at x equals 1, I would have, let me just move these labels to where they belong. If x equals 1 is my reflection line, then, for instance, it would be a vertical line on the x value of 1. So just keep that in mind that if you're only given one number, it's a solid line on that value. Hope this helps, and good luck reflecting your shapes.